Hello, in this problem we're going to find the equation of an ellipse. So we're given the vertices, negative 8, 0, and 8, 0, and the foci, negative 5, 0, and 5, 0. Let's start this problem by drawing a quick sketch, and that should help us figure out how to do it. So here's the y-axis. Here is the x-axis, so x, y, and so the vertices are negative 8, 0, and 8, 0. So maybe one of them is over here, and one is over here. And we know they're on the x-axis because the y-coordinate is 0. And that means that the ellipse should look like this. It should have this general shape. And that's because, by definition, the vertices are the endpoints of the major axis. So um, it's going to be looking longer there. It's going to look like a sideways egg. And the foci are here and here. The foci always lie on the major axis. So the center of this ellipse, you can see, is right in the middle. It's 0, 0. So the general formula is going to be x squared over, and because the major axis is horizontal, the bigger number is under the x, so a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Remember, a is always bigger than b in an ellipse. And because the major axis is horizontal, the bigger number goes under the x. If it was like this, if it was vertical, then the bigger number would go under the y. We would, we would have an a squared here under the y. So we just need a and b. So a is 8. We can get that from the picture, because that's this distance here. This is a. We don't know B. B is going to be this here. We, we don't know it. So we have to find it to finish this question. But we do know C. C is going to be this distance here. So C is 5. Okay. So now we just need to find B. So to find B, there's a formula that relates A, B, and C. It's C squared equals A squared. And it's the opposite sign. So there's a plus here, so there's a minus and then b squared. It's a nice trick um, that you can memorize. So if you have a hyperbola, a hyperbola has a minus here, so this, this would be a plus in a hyperbola. So you just switch the sign. Okay, so c is 5, so this will be 5 squared equals a squared, so 8 squared, minus, and then b squared, which we don't know. We need, we need to find b squared. So 5 squared is 25, 8 squared is 64, minus b squared. So now we can subtract 64, subtract 64, and that's going to give us uh, negative 39 equals negative b squared. Then you can just multiply by negative 1, and we have b squared equals 39. And then a, a was 8, right? a was 8, so a squared is 64. So the final answer is x squared over a squared, but a is 8, so x squared over 64 plus, and then y squared over b squared, so y squared over 39, and that's equal to 1. This problem requires a lot of knowledge. Like, you have to know what the vertices are, right? The vertices are the endpoints of the major axis. You have to know that this distance here is C, right? So, um, so 5, C is 5, and then A is 8. So you have to know where everything goes uh, on the ellipse. And you have to know the formula also. So remember, if your ellipse looks like this, if the major axis is uh, horizontal like this, the bigger number goes under the x. That's why I put the a here, because a is always bigger than b. If the bigger number was under the y, uh, it would look like this. It would be like a vertical egg. And then um, the a would be under the y instead of the x. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.